My name is Tosi Majakotumi. I am the consultant interventional cardiologist and medical director of Eurachem Motor Specialist Hospital. My professional career, I would say, began here in Nigeria because I've always wanted to be a doctor. Um, I attended Baptist Boys High School in Abeokuta. That's where I did my secondary school. Primary school was in Sokoto, up in the north. Uh, interesting, where my parents were based there. And it was really primarily the um, educational experience and the, the cultural and sort of societal experience that I, I was privileged to have during my time in Abeokuta that then led to um, me being able to become the person that I am today. Um, once I finished secondary school and did my O-levels, my parents were located back to England and there I did, A -level, I did my um, A-levels and I got admission to university. I came back to Nigeria uh, in 2014 and joined a group uh, based out of uh, University College Hospital in Ibadan, where we worked uh, to try to advance cardiac services um, in Nigeria, both surgical and uh, interventional. Uh, however, at the end of two years, I did not feel that I was accomplishing the goals that I had set for myself. Um, and this was when Eurocare Motor Specialist Hospital came along. And uh, the vision that they um, had aligned very well with the vision that I had when I decided to come to Nigeria, which was to provide world-class healthcare, particularly in my field, interventional cardiology, to all patients um, that were eligible for it. And so we started um, with the, and the goal of this was that we had, and we knew that there were a number of patients who were already traveling out of the country to um, get access to these types of services and interventions because they were not readily available in Nigeria. And the goal was really to try to offer those services here in Nigeria in an environment and in a manner and to a standard that these patients would be comfortable with and would be consistent with what was achievable or attainable anywhere in the world. I'm a cardiologist, and there's a, there are various subspecialties, subspecialties in cardiology, um, and I'm also an adult congenital as well as interventional cardiologist. Cardiology is a field of medicine that um, looks at diseases that affect primarily the heart and the blood vessels. Um, it's a very important field because cardiovascular disease is the leading cause of death worldwide. And even in Nigeria, where previously we, uh, the leading causes of death were largely infectious diseases like malaria, typhoid, cholera, etc., these days cardiovascular disease is fast becoming the leading cause of death. Uh, my role as a cardiologist is to uh, identify patients who have cardiovascular illnesses and then to uh, investigate them uh, to, to determine the severity of their disease and to treat them to either relieve their symptoms that they may be feeling or reduce the risk they may suffer a devastating event like a stroke or a heart attack or other uh, devastating outcomes such as renal failure or blindness. As an interventional cardiologist, we have the further um, ability not only to diagnose patients with various modalities such as imaging like chest x-rays, CT scans, MRI scans, echocardiograms, but also to actually treat these patients using, using minimally invasive procedures. The minimally invasive procedures, uh, we can do it through uh, the blood vessels that run through the wrist or the blood vessels at the top of the leg. We don't cut people open in the, um, through the middle of the chest to do the vast majority of the procedures that we're able to do. And in fact, this is one of the new, um, advances in, in, in cardiology that have really come about uh, since uh, we started at Eurochem Multispecialist Hospital and it's actually in the field of cardiology in general. So previously, many years ago, a few decades now, a lot of um, patients who needed to have something done to them, such as valve replacements or to improve the blood supply to their heart, would need to have open heart surgery to accomplish it. Now, we're able to do the same things, but without having to cut the patients open or put them to sleep and do it through their arms or through the top of their legs, through really what is no more than a pinprick. And through that, we can close holes in the hearts of adults or children. We can uh, improve the blood supply to uh, blocked vessels around the heart. And we can um, change valves in the heart. These days, uh, previously, we were mostly able to intervene on the aortic valve or the pulmonary valve, but increasingly, we're able to now intervene on mitral as well as tricuspid valves inside the heart and treat almost all forms of uh, valvular heart disease.